Alright, in this geek tip, I'm going to show you how to use the clipboard features in Windows 10. Now, the clipboard decades ago was really meant to hold just uh, a little bit of text up on, in the uh, memory of the computer, and uh, every time you copied a new piece of text, it overwrote the last piece of text. But over the years, Microsoft has evolved the clipboard to where now it can actually hold text and graphics and it can hold multiple pieces of both so I'm going to show you how to do that so the first thing we need to do is we have to make sure that we have the clipboard history turned on so it means we have to go into Windows settings so we're going to get there three different ways we can left click on the start button go to the settings gear click on it there we can right click on the start button and left click on settings go that way or there is the Windows logo key plus I that will also bring up Windows settings so let's go into the system we're going to go down left hand column to the clipboard we're going to make sure clipboard history is on so it's on there that's good that way we can store and pull back all the different uh, pieces of text and graphics that we're going to up, uh, copy up to the clipboard. You can also clear it too from here, but uh, we're not going to do that right now. So now we've got that uh, taken care of. There's one other thing we want to do is we want to make sure that we've got the latest version of graphics clipping software. Um, everybody's familiar with uh, the snipping tool came out in Windows 7 but as you can see it's starting to be deprecated so uh, it's going to be removed here in a future version of Windows 10 so we we definitely want to get the latest version uh, like they say snip and sketch is the latest version so it's not installed by default so we have to actually go over here to the Microsoft Store and we'll do a search for snip and sketch it'll show up there it is right there I've already got it installed so it'll show us here you can actually go ahead and install it I've already got it installed so you know, I've already got it pinned down to my taskbar so we've got it right down here Boom. All right. There's also a third way of actually grabbing text off of or grabbing graphics off the system, and that is to use the Windows logo key Shift S. Okay. And this is a uh, uh, you know it's an easy way to do it if you need to. Um, it's uh, like I say you got three different ways to actually grab graphics or grab uh, on screen something on screen and put it into the clipboard so let's go ahead and uh, now uh, to actually see what you've got in the clipboard history we're going to use the Windows logo key plus V that actually shows you the different uh, uh, pieces of text and the graphics I've already got up there but let's go ahead and just uh, run through this real quick so uh, for those who don't know how to copy cut and paste text we're going to just go ahead and we're going to copy this chunk of text here we can right click on it copy it we can use the control C key to do it and we come back over here control V combination will do it you can actually right click and select paste now that's that's a simple way of copying in something that you the last piece of text that you actually copied up to the clipboard but if you wanted to copy some of the other piece of uh, 
another item you actually put up there then we have to actually go into clipboard history and bring that up but let's go ahead and let's just grab a little bit of text using one of these tools here so we'll use snip and sketch nice thing about this program is once you grab it it's already there it's already up on the clipboard so we'll Windows logo key V and we'll see it here so we're set there so let's go ahead we've already got a, a little piece of graphics so we got a place here in this word pad document let's go ahead and paste that in there so we're gonna Windows key V double click on it and there we go we just pasted that in but let's go ahead and window key V again and uh, well, let's just uh, grab that one there we go there so say we want to change that out Windows control V we highlight it and say there we go so that's how you utilize the Windows 10 clipboard history and you can copy and paste into your programs uh, utilizing several different um, applications that are built in to Windows 10 for more geek tips go on over to geeksinphoenix.com all right have any questions give us a, a yell and uh, we'll see what we can do Okay, take care.